Today we're going to be testing out our DIY built Curve Vocal Booth Isolator. True Sound Studios is in your ears. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to True Sound Studios. I'm Wiesna, and if you were just watching the previous video, you've seen the video where I showed you guys how to build a curved vocal booth isolator. So today we're gonna to be testing out this vocal booth with some budget-friendly audio gear. We're gonna be using the Samson CO1 condenser microphone running into the Personas Audio Box USB interface. I'm gonna show you guys what this vocal booth sounds like with just a straight signal from the microphone straight to the interface and straight to the computer. If you've watched any of my other videos, you guys know that I like to track vocals with a compressor. So we're also gonna do a take where we track with an analog compressor. And I'm also gonna show you guys what the vocal booth sounds like with some post-processing after it gets into the DAW. Okay, so let's try this thing out. Hey, check, hey, one, two. We are now testing the custom-built curved vocal booth isolator. We are not tracking with any compression and there are no plugins on this vocal take. Hey, check, hey, one, two. Nowadays, everybody want to talk that they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move the lips. Hey, check, hey, one, two, check. Now we are using a DBX160X compressor tracking with this vocal take but there are still no plugins used on the DAW. Hey, check, hey, one, two, check. Testing our curved vocal booth isolator. Nowadays, everybody want to talk that they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move the lips. Hey, check, hey, one, two. Now we are tracking with the DBX160X compressor and are also using plugins in the DAW. Hey, check, hey, one, two, yeah. Nowadays everybody want to talk that they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move the lips. Check, hey. So now we are just going to test. We obviously don't have the curved vocal booth isolator in front of us, so now so now there is nothing to protect um, this microphone from, from things bouncing around in the room and eventually getting back into the capsule of this microphone. So once again, check, hey, hey, one, two. Nowadays, everybody want to talk that they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move the lips. Okay, so you guys can see that building this curved vocal booth isolator really does help. You could tell when we took the vocal booth away, um, how you could start to hear the room get inducted into that microphone. And if you're looking for it, you know, if you're looking to do voiceovers or vocal work of any kind, whether you're singing or rapping, you really just want to capture the voice and really try to leave the room out of the situation. So this was all recorded with my budget-friendly recording studio gear. I was using the Personas Audio Box USB um, just on channel one with a simple XLR cable. We were using phantom power and it looks like I have the mic preamp turned up a little bit past halfway. For the microphone, I was using this Samson CO1 condenser microphone. So this mic will look a little different. I ended up painting the body of this because mine got super scratched up from just a lot of use. Um, but it does have a blue LED on the front of the microphone, which does make it look kind of cool. This is a very inexpensive shock mount that fits our Samson CO1 condenser mic. Um, it is made of all plastic, but I mean, for the price, I don't really think you can go wrong with this. Included is a pop filter that is adjustable. You can tip it down and tip it up. Now, <clears throat> you can't really move the pop filter around at all. I mean, you can turn it but you can't raise or lower it. But with budget friendly in mind, this has lasted me over a year now and nothing is actually broken at all on it. And finally, the mic stand. Now this is a fairly inexpensive mic stand too. Um, all the poles are all metal, um, but like some of the mechanical parts, some of the uh, clamps and things that allow you to bend it are plastic. But I bought four of these for about $40 and 
To this day, I've had them over a year now and these things still, not even one of them has broken. So I will include all the links to all these products in the description of this video. So guys, I hope you like this build. I hope you can go out and build this for yourself. I thought it was fairly easy. It only took me about a half an hour and I still had to film it. So I hope you guys can use this video to build your own vocal booth and make some better recordings. So if you guys like this video, consider subscribing and hit that like button. Follow us on Instagram for daily posts. You can find the beats that I make right here at the studio on our SoundCloud page. True Sound Studios also mixes and masters your tracks. So once again, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm Wiesna, we're at True Sound Studios, and True Sound Studios is in your ears.